This is Raina with Lilo Crafts coming on today with a project share from Craftspire. And um, Craftspire reached out to me a while ago and asked me if I wanted to try their products and I said yes. And so um, they have, um, they really specialize in wax melts, but they have so many other um, different items. They have washi tape and all kinds of crafty items, but I had never worked with wax melts so that I ordered a set for that first. So the first thing that came with it was um, this uh, jar of, and I picked the multicolors. You can pick solid colors, um, but I picked the multicolor to be able to use it for all seasons. So it came with that. It came with um, the spoon that you really do need one of these spoons to be able to melt um, the wax in. And then um, I got two tea lights, but I've used those because I've been having so much fun already. Um, and um, I ordered the, uh, a set with these two handles, and then I ordered four of these uh, brass uh, fittings for uh, making different stamps. And so please note that I will put a link to all the items in the description below, as well as the discount code. So please make sure you use the discount code. Okay, so um, the ones that I'm going to show you today are with this bow and these words that say thank you. Um, but I also selected and I have another video and I'll put that link below as well where I show how to use um, these uh, wax melts like a tutorial and I've got um, definitely some gnomes on there um, from that video and then I also got this uh, beautiful pineapple and uh, pineapples mean welcome and so I really love that or you know you're welcome it's like hospitality a sign of hospitality so um, I went ahead and made uh, several of these thank you uh, and you can see they really put a lot of incredible detail you can see that full word thank you so I made them in all different shades of pink and so some of these were straight from uh, using one color of wax and some like this one right here I used uh, two different colors of wax and then I swirled them together. And so the difference between these two is this first row, all of the thank yous, well, these three thank yous are all made with two of the little wax pellets. So two pellets, and then um, this thank you is made with three pellets. So it just depends on how you like it. If you like that um, rimmed edge, um, which is the more traditional look, then you would need three pellets. And so I did all the bows I did with three pellets. And here's another one. And what you want to do is make sure when you, once you put this down, which it is heavy, you don't move it. And that way you'll get a really nice clear image. And so I started off with those. And then um, I also made, I think this like army green is just um, such a cool color right now, olive green. And I had this paper that had uh, pale peaches, pinks, as well as the green. And so I made this rosette and I thought this would be so pretty to make as a thank you card. Let's pretend this is actually a card and I can put this right on that card. So I thought that'd be so pretty to send somebody. Um, so I made this rosette and I put that thank you again. This is just two pellets on that. And then I thought, you know what? I have this mold, um, this mold that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I wonder if I could put them in there and make bows. And I have, I, I know a lot of you use this for resin or for chocolate, but I haven't done resin, but I did buy this and I thought, you know, maybe I can find a way to use that. So I made my first batch of little bows. Oh my gosh, they turned out so cute. Look at these little things. So, um, so here is one shape of a bow that I used, um, that I made hot pink. And then look at this one, um, kind of shaped like a Hello Kitty bow. And then this one, um, I was playing around to see if I could get the heart center in a different color. So again, this was the first time I was making these like this. So I love that. And this is another one of those bows, but just with a solid color. And then uh, this little tiny little bow here too. I thought that was so sweet. And you can put them on an embellishment. 
ornament. So I made this little gingerbread baker and then I put one of those bows um, right there on the baker's hat. Isn't that cute? So you can make them any color that you want um, to add on to any embellishment. So they're so versatile, these wax melts. So that's that. And then I just wanted to show you, I put some more in here. I was having so much fun that they just come out just like butter, just like that. And so this one, um, it's, uh, it's orange. And so I thought this would be great for like Halloween and fall crafting. And, uh, here's the, here's another one right here. So cute. And then you can see like this has like a little piece off the side and they will, um, either snap off or you can just very easily pull them off because they're wax, uh, with your fingernails or with some tweezers. Um, then I have, look at this one, this little burgundy red bow turned out so cute. So I uh, learned that if I just put a couple of drops of the white in, that that um, worked out great. So isn't that so sweet? Oh my gosh, that's so much cleaner than my first one, which was uh, bleeding onto the sides. You could see this one, I kind of was more messy, but this one turned out perfect. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, and then so here's a hot pink bow. And again, you can just pick all these little extras off or you could just be better at pouring than me. So again, this was only my second time making these. Oh, I love that bow. So sweet, so sweet. Okay, and here's another one. This is like I mixed orange and red together along with that white heart. Oh, I just love those. I love these. These are so cute. <laughs> so, so sweet. Okay. So let me just clean the sides up on this one a little bit. Um, and you can see how that looks. Well, I just think this is so much fun. And you know what? If you've got resin molds or any kind of silicone molds, you can use these wax melt with those. As you can see, they just popped right out of there. No struggle at all. So I am definitely going to keep on playing and I'm probably going to look for a few more silicone molds where I can make great embellishments in exactly the colors that I want. So I hope you will go and check out Craspire. And again, I will put a link to their, um, to their website along with um, a link to the products in the description below. Thank you so much. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.